the continent of Prodesto. The grueling war had finally ended, and one man had unified the land. Lord Median the Conqueror. Though only one man, his heroism swept across the world. The Harmonious Empire stood for ten years before it crumbled once more. Lord Median and his son passed away. Prodesto returned to a state of bloody war. It was then that a clarion vesper rang throughout the halls of history. Median's daughter, Lena, had come into her own and become a true leader. Neighboring countries formed treaties, and for a moment, the world knew peace. But then the world was darkened by a single malign shadow and its cruel heralds. The violent echoes of agony and murder shattered the land. The shaky alliances were pushed to their limits by the merciless creatures. But human as they were, they fell victim to weakness and temptation. Some cowered and fled, while others pledged allegiance to the beasts. Lena rallied her few remaining comrades for a final confrontation. The venerable warrior queen sacrificed her life to banish the shadow. They were both consumed, and the three behemoths were silent. Your time in this tale has come. Which gender would you like to be? And what will the world call you by? A truly noble name for such a hero, we of this world give you our blessing no matter what path you choose. Now go, may happiness and good tidings follow you wherever you roam. Sorry 
sorry to keep you waiting, Lady Lena. It's been ten long years since I brought you here. Today, I shall grant you the weapons you will need to watch over our home. Does that mean you're finally gonna make us real town guardians? That's correct. You shall have the power to protect those who cannot protect themselves. Now, Damet, you must select the weapon best suited to your abilities. Oh, you have no idea how long I've been waiting for this! Now, which one should I take? They're also... deadly. Lady Lena, I choose the Sickle Sword. <laughs> Ah, this is called the Whisper of Tranquility. So long as you carry this, you will bring nothing but good to the world. You have chosen well, my dear. And for you, I have only this. Huh? I thought we got to choose. Sacrificial lamb, huh? <laughs> sort of soft around the edges, but it's definitely got potential. 200 years. 200 years I've been waiting for this moment. Indeed. It has been many years, Gig. I, too, have long awaited this day. Lady Lena? What is this? What's going on with that sword? 200 years ago. I gazed into a black shadow, and it gazed back. It threatened to destroy everything, but I hunted it down, and this sword was the trap. Hey, what's that red crystal? It feels almost... familiar. This jewel is called the Crimson Tear. Now, behold... The fusion begins! Ah, it's damn good to be back! I can't wait to break in my new body! Me? Oh, just the most hardcore ass-kicker to ever walk the planet is all! The destroyer of everything! The commander of the World Eaters! But hell, you can just call me Gabe. Oh, that. Well, thanks to that old wench, I had to abandon my body 200 years ago. I killed her first, of course. But that tricky witch must have had another soul up her sleeve or something. She caught me off guard and almost killed me for good. But I stole some of her juice, jumped into that sword. I never figured out why she kept the sword around. But I stayed there, waiting for my chance to get out. I've been waiting for 200 years! But now, I've got you! A nice, young, healthy set of limbs! <laughs> I haven't even done anything yet, and I already feel right at home. What? You still don't get it? I'm taking over your body, stupid! Kill you? <laughs> nah, that'd be too easy. What'll happen is, your soul will just... disappear. And then I can just beat this meat puppet to hell till I'm done with it! 